Hi, and welcome to an exciting episode of Poltex Tech Lighting. A new Azure service called Gateway Load Balancer has it general available in all regions for Azure. Setting up third-party network appliance, NVA, for traffic filtering can be quite complex and cumbersome with several load balancer and different traffic flows. The Gateway Load Balancer in Azure has the solution to all of this. It offers an easy and transparent setup, avoiding having to configure user-defined routes, UDRs. So this service, it will definitely make life in Azure a lot easier. Let's dig into it and see what it's all about. Here we go. First, let's have a look at the Azure pricing calculator. We have an Azure load balancer. We select region and there we get to pick between the different SKUs. In addition to basic and standard, there's a new entry called gateway. If you recall the basic SKU, it's free of charge and does not support high availability nor any redundancy. Also, it does not come with an SLA. The standard SKU, it adds several features such as high availability and SLA, which are the key components. We will focus in this video about the third SKU called Gateway. Now, if you think of virtual machines in Azure, there are a couple of ways to allow inbound access to them from the internet. One way, uh, which is to give a virtual machine a public IP address. Now, this is usually a no-go in any environment due to security concerns. Also, you have very little flexibility with this setup. Another way is to use a public load balancer in Azure. This public load balancer has a public IP address. Incoming traffic from the internet goes to the public load balancer and is then directed towards a backend instance. What we're missing here is actually a device which can protect the environment. Now, this is where customers use virtual machines from different vendors to filter traffic. These virtual machines, we call them Network Virtual Appliances, NVAs. So in other words, virtual machines in your Azure environment, which handles and secures the traffic before it hits the destination. The problem is that the uh, environment and setup of this can get quite complex and you can run into issues with the traffic flow. You need a public load balancer which direct the traffic to the MVAs. In addition to this, you also need to have an internal load balancer. This is because the return traffic from the virtual machines cannot use the public load balancer. Also, if you think about it, the load balancer for your workload, it has to be an internal load balancer with a private IP address. Simply put, the traffic that comes from the internet hits the public load balancer. Outbound traffic or return traffic has to go through the internal load balancer, meaning there's not one flow for inbound traffic and one flow for outbound. We have two different flows for this traffic. Now these different flows, they add limitation and complexity to your environment. We can solve this with an Azure Gateway Load Balancer. This is a type of load balancer that's created as an internal load balancer. Behind this gateway load balancer, you will then place your NVAs to filter the traffic. What you then need to do is actually to chain your existing public load balancer and its public IP address to the gateway load balancer. You can also change, for example, an individual VM with a standard public IP address. Traffic from the internet hits the public load balancer. The traffic is then chained and directed to the gateway load balancer. Behind there, it will go to an available NVA device, which is able to filter the traffic. The filter traffic then goes from the NVA back to the public load balancer, and the traffic hits one of the VMs in the pool behind it. The return traffic has the exact same flow. That's the good part here. It will go through the public load balancer to the gateway load balancer and hit the same NVA it came from. Then it will go back the same way and out to the internet. Let's have a look at the benefits of this. There is, for example, no special configuration for this setup. You don't need to configure UDRs. The flow with the gateway load balancer is completely transparent. The source and destination, they're not aware of this flow. So this means that you can easily integrate NVAs in your environment. 
The return traffic has the exact same flow and important, it uses the same NVA as the incoming traffic. You can change application across regions and subscriptions. Now, what are some of the limitations of this service? Well, cross tenant chaining is not supported through the Azure portal. It does not support IPv6 and it currently does not support zone redundant frontends. This was the high level overview of the Azure Gateway Load Balancer. Microsoft, they have several partners who have certified their network appliance to use with this Gateway Load Balancer. It's quite an extensive list and you will see brands and companies such as A10, Checkpoint with CloudGuard, Cisco, Fortinet, Palo Alto and many more. So I hope you found this video useful and informative. Until next time, stay cool, take care, see ya.